What would it take to make the national flag carrier self-sufficient? As the government seeks to make Bahamas Air profitable, the minister responsible for the national flag carrier says privatization is still an option that's being discussed. Tonight, Siaska Adelie spoke with the deputy prime minister who gave us an update on those talks. Deputy Prime Minister Philip Brave Davis said two committees have been formed to gather information to determine the best way forward for the airline. Last week, opposition MPs called for the privatization of Bahamas Air, calling it a reoccurring financial strain to the government. Today, the Deputy Prime Minister said several key players within the aviation sector from North America, the Middle East, and the Far East have all expressed interest in becoming a strategic partner with the national flag carrier. Well, a number of persons have been talking um, to and we uh, and in their travels, but, uh, uh, ministers have encountered persons of expressed interest in Elif and attempting to see how they can become strategic partners of Bahamas here in those Elifs. Um, we have had some disciplinary discussions in respect to all of those, and because of the number of interests being expressed, we thought it best that we um, form this committee to examine where Bahamas here is. Currently, it costs an estimated $25 million to operate Bahamas Air on an annual basis. The airline's managing director, Henry Woods, recently revealed that Bahamas Air's outlook is positive, and from all indications, revenue is increasing. Davis, who has responsibility for the airline, applauded Woods and his team's efforts to lessen the drain on the public purse over the past two years. As a result, the government's subvention has decreased from $27 million to $15 million. He believes they are moving in the right direction. On the revenue side, the revenue is increasing and the expenses are decreasing. So the books are looking much better. We would wish the Bahamas Air become self-sufficient and um, they're moving in that direction. But I do take my hat off for the stellar and committed work that the managing director and his team has been doing over the last two years to, to enable uh, a lesser drain on the public purse. Last September, Prime Minister Perry Christie suggested his focus may soon move to significantly reform Bahamas Air. Since then, the airline has explored the possibilities of expanding its routes, a move officials say is expected to come on stream later this year. Siaska Adderley, ZNS Network News.